hey, good morning, good morning, everyone, and praise the Lord for this day. I got a word to share with you to hopefully encourage your heart. I was thinking about this morning um, how I get asked this question a lot. Uh, maybe that's where you are today. And the question is how to trust God when everything is going wrong. And again, if that's a question you have this morning, let's search for the answers in the best place to search them in the Word of God. You know, we find in Scripture that suffering is not a foreign concept to people of God. You know, across the world in over thousands of years, God's people have walked through times of pain and hardship. You know, Joseph was betrayed by his family and sold into slavery. Sarah struggled with infertility. You know, Jeremiah wrestled with depression all his life, and Job literally lost everything he had. You know, and throughout the Psalms, we continually read prayers asking why God seems to stand so far away in times of trouble. Even Jesus was not a stranger to the sorrows of this world. You know, Jesus led a life of affliction during his time on earth. He experienced unjust death of his friends. He, he experienced persecution, and he was abandoned by his closest companions, and he was ultimately murdered on a cross. Now, so why does God allow widespread suffering in the lives of his people, even his own son? You know, he had a greater plan. God used Joseph's position in Egypt to save the lives of thousands of people. God kept his promise to Sarah in his timing as he blessed her with the son whose descendants would become um, the nation of Israel. We see God's plan and pain most clearly in the life of Jesus, by whose suffering our salvation is graciously given. You know, we could have assurance in God because he is trustworthy. You know, pain, as difficult as it is, has a great purpose in the life of Jesus and the people of God throughout Scripture. It has a purpose in your life as well. Although it is very difficult for us to see, at, see this purpose at the moment when we're going through this difficult time, suffering is temporary. As Christians... Tragedies and pain are not the ends or even the central part of our existence. Because of the gospel, our future is guaranteed. You know, there is an eternity filled with God's glory ahead of those, for those of us who have put our faith and hope in Christ. So my friends, God sees you amidst your suffering. And he is with you. And he says he will never leave you nor forsake you. And that has been a promise throughout the ages. We may not sense his presence, but his care is constant and personal. He calls us to lean on him and trust in his plan during the most trying times we experience. So how can we trust God when everything goes wrong, by remembering that God is using our trials to accomplish far more than you could ever imagine. There is more to come beyond this life. He is with you and he is always for you. And I'll leave you with this passage of scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 16 through 18 that reads, this is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce great, they produce for us glory that is vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So we do not look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. But the things that we see now will soon be gone. But the things we cannot see last forever. Well, guys, just a quick word to encourage your heart. If that's where you are, questioning how to trust God 
when everything is going wrong. I hope this does speak to you. If it does, please share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.